Hi, this is Chandra Brown, Riverkeeper and Executive Director at Agichi Riverkeeper. Thank you for taking the time today to learn how to protect yourself and your family from mercury pollution. In this section, let's take a look at how mercury gets into the fish and seafood that we eat in the first place. According to the U.S. EPA, 99% of the mercury in the Agichi system comes from air pollution. In fact, the limit for mercury in the air is less than 20 pounds a year but the rivers already receive nearly twice this limit. In Georgia, the vast majority of mercury pollution to our air comes from coal-fired power plants. The exception to that is Olin Corporation in Augusta, which is an outdated chloralkali plant. On this graph, the red bars show two new coal-fired power plants that were just permitted by the Georgia Environmental Protection Division in April 2010. These two plants would be located in South Georgia near Blackwater River systems and will add an additional 9,000 pounds of mercury to our air in Georgia over the lifetime of the plants. When coal-fired power plants burn coal, they release mercury into the air. That mercury falls down into neighboring rivers, creeks, and swamps. And in the bottom of these rivers, creeks, and swamps, that mercury is either converted into gaseous mercury and leaves the system, or, as is more common in South Georgia streams, is converted into its most toxic form, methylmercury. In the bottom of the rivers and creeks, this highly toxic form of mercury is taken up by the little bugs who eat the decaying leaf matter. The little fish eat the little bugs. The big fish eat the little fish. And all along the way, the mercury is accumulating up the food chain. We are at the top of the food chain and tend to eat the largest fish with the highest levels of mercury in them. And so we become the ultimate mercury accumulators.